Thank you, Chair, and thanks to the Honourable Member for Arrow East and the City of Durham for securing this important debate. For seven years, I was the Cabinet Member on Birmingham City Council overseeing public health. Because of this, I have seen the long-term health impacts of smoking that it can have on the communities across both Birmingham and the UK. It is shocking that one of the biggest causes of death in the UK, causing around 150 cases of cancer per day, is entirely preventable. Around 6.6 .6 million adults currently smoke in the UK. In Birmingham and Solihull, over 10,000 people are admitted to hospital a year as a result of smoking. As a district nurse, I saw the effects of smoking that it can have on people with and without existing health conditions and how difficult it can be to quit. I met patients with COPD, chronic obstructive vulnerable disease, using oxygen to help them breathe, who would still ask to be wheeled outside to smoke because they were so addicted to smoking. We have a very strong pro-smoking lobby in the UK. Action on Smoking and Health reported that the tobacco industry work to undermine public health measures are increasing their marketing plans, including to market to young people and oppose regulations. Chair, in the face of this, young people in my constituency don't stand a chance. And that's why we truly need strategies to prevent our young people from starting smoking in the first place. I recognise that encouraging the use of e-cigarettes is a vital part of the government's strategy. However, it is really important that we don't forget about the risk associated with e-cigarettes. Not enough research has been done on vaping for us to know about the long-term effects, especially in pregnancy and the impact it has on the lives of the children who are just starting to show, that are just starting to show through. Last year, 40 children were admitted to hospital in England due to vaping-related disorder, disorders, with 15 children under 10 admitted due to the effects of vaping. We are relying on best estimates to understand the impacts of vaping. It is vitally important that the government commits to proper research and enforcement, including clamping down on the sale of e-cigarettes containing harmful levels of nicotine. The ambition for England is to be smoke-free by 2013. It is, well, it is a welcome target and one the government itself has recognised will need both action. The Khan Review, published a year ago, found that without further action, England will miss the smoke-free target by at least seven years, with the poorest areas, such as my constituents in Erdington, King Standing and Castle Vale, not meeting the target until 2044. And we all still yet, yet to see the government's new tobacco control plan more than a year later. It is ridiculous that since the smoke-free 2030 target was published only three years ago, the Secretary of State has changed four times. If we are serious about stopping smoking and improving outcomes for all, we need an NHS fit for the future with the capacity to deliver long-term ambitious targets for public health and a serious commitment to committed government to back our health service. Only Labour can deliver on these promises. Thank you, Chair.